Hey everyone, it's W here and welcome back to the channel. You know how much I love a good story, and today we've got a whole bunch of them to unpack. We're talking New Hampshire, national news, and everything from the thrill of victory on the football field to the importance of community action. So if you're ready for a whirlwind tour of current events, grab your metaphorical passport because we're diving right in. From sports to politics and community efforts to natural disasters, we've got a lot to cover. Let's get started. Okay, folks, let's talk pigskin. For any of you who missed it, this week's Cowboys-Giants game was one for the books. I mean, talk about a nail-biter. You had the Giants playing on their home turf, hungry for a win. And the Cowboys, well, they're the Cowboys. From the first snap, you could just feel the energy, you know? Every pass, every tackle, it was like these guys were playing with something to prove. This wasn't just about bragging rights. It was about proving who wanted it more. And speaking of leaving it all on the field, can we talk about that final drive? The Giants were down by five, the clock was ticking away. It was a quarterback duel for the ages, with both Doc Prescott and Daniel Jones showing incredible poise under pressure. But in the end, it was the Cowboys who managed to hold on, securing a 20-15 victory. It was a hard-fought win, the kind that leaves both teams with something to think about. All right, everyone, let's shift gears and talk about political education, especially for young people. Recently, CNN aired a segment that really got me thinking. It focused on how kids are engaging with political ideas and figures, and how this might influence future voter turnout. Now, I know what you might be thinking. John, politics and kids? Isn't that a bit heavy? And yeah, I get it. It's easy to assume that kids aren't interested in politics, that it's too complex or boring for them. But the truth is, kids are a lot more perceptive than we often give them credit for. They absorb information like sponges, and they're constantly forming opinions about the world around them. The CNN segment highlighted how kids are not only aware of political figures, but also have opinions about their policies and actions. This is huge, people. Because it means that the next generation of voters is already thinking critically about the world they're inheriting. It suggests that the future of civic engagement is bright that young people are ready and willing to take an active role in shaping the world they want to live in. Speaking of political engagement, let's talk about the presidential campaign. As you all know, we're in the thick of it, and here in New Hampshire, the energy is palpable. Candidates are swarming the state, holding rallies, knocking on doors, and trying their best to win over voters. It's a fascinating process to witness firsthand this dance between politician and constituent. It's a reminder that at its core, democracy is about connection, about listening to the needs and concerns of the people you're hoping to represent. And whether you agree with their platforms or not, you have to admire the dedication, the passion, and the sheer stamina it takes to run for the highest office in the land. But beyond the spectacle, beyond the sound bites and photo ops, there's something profoundly important happening here. Because every handshake, every conversation, every question asked and answered represents a chance to engage in dialogue, to bridge divides and to find common ground. So, whether you're a seasoned political junkie or just starting to pay attention, I encourage you to stay informed, to engage in thoughtful conversations and to exercise your right to vote. Now, I want to highlight something truly inspiring happening right here in our community. Recently, a group of volunteers from Eversource came together for a fantastic cause, cleaning up the Connecticut River. Now, you all know how much I love a good river. They're not just beautiful to look at, they're vital ecosystems, sources of life and powerful reminders of the interconnectedness of all things. But like so many natural wonders, rivers are facing increasing threats from pollution, development, and climate change. That's why it's so heartening to see companies like Eversource stepping up to the plate, demonstrating their commitment to environmental stewardship and giving back to the communities they serve. Seeing those volunteers working tirelessly, removing trash and debris from the riverbank, it was a powerful reminder that even small acts of kindness can make a big difference. It's these kinds of initiatives that give me hope for the future. Unfortunately, not all the news is good news. Down in Steinhatchee, Florida, residents are reeling from the devastating impact of Hurricane Helene. This wasn't just a storm. It was a force of nature that tore through the Big Bend region, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The images coming out of Steinhatchee are heartbreaking. Homes reduced to rubble, businesses ripped apart, and streets littered with debris. The storm surge, 
the relentless winds, the torrential rains. They combined to create a perfect storm of devastation, leaving many residents with nothing but the clothes on their backs. But amidst the wreckage, amidst the shock and despair, there's also a glimmer of hope. Because even in the darkest of times, the human spirit has a way of shining through. Okay, basketball fans, let's talk hoops. The New York Knicks have acquired all-star center Carl Anthony Towns from the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Knicks, after years of mediocrity, are finally showing signs of life. Towns, a three-time all-star, brings size, skill, and scoring prowess to the Knicks' front court. His arrival instantly elevates the Knicks' ceiling. With Jalen Brunson and R.J. Barrett, the Knicks now have the pieces to make serious noise in the Eastern Conference. The Knicks are now a team on the rise, and their fans have every right to be excited about the future. All right, football fanatics, it's almost time for some college pigskin action. Down in Coral Gables, the Miami Hurricanes are gearing up for what promises to be an electrifying season. And let me tell you, expectations are sky high for the Canes. After a bit of a roller coaster ride in recent years, Miami is back with a vengeance. They've got a new head coach at the helm, a talented quarterback under center, and a defense that's hungry to prove themselves. The buzz around this team is palpable. You can feel it in the air, hear it in the cheers of the fans, see it in the swagger of the players. They know they have something special brewing in Miami, and they're not afraid to show it. But it's not just hype, it's substance. Miami boasts a roster loaded with playmakers, from explosive wide receivers to hard-hitting linebackers. As we celebrate the excitement of sports, it's important to remember those who are facing unimaginable challenges. Down in Steinhatchee, Florida, the long and arduous task of rebuilding is just beginning. The physical damage left behind by Hurricane Helene is staggering. Homes reduced to splinters, businesses torn apart, and cherished landmarks forever altered. The scars left by the storm run deep, serving as a constant reminder of the raw power of nature. But amidst the debris, Amidst the heartache and uncertainty, something remarkable is happening. The spirit of resilience is taking root. Neighbors are helping neighbors, sharing what little food, water, and shelter they have. Volunteers from all walks of life are pouring into the affected areas, offering their time, their skills, and their unwavering support. Shifting gears, I want to circle back to the incredible community effort we saw with the Connecticut River cleanup. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day hustle, to forget about the importance of giving back, of being stewards of our environment. But that day on the river was a powerful reminder that even small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect. Seeing those volunteers, young and old, coming together with a shared purpose, it was truly inspiring. They weren't getting paid, they weren't seeking recognition, they were simply driven by a desire to make a difference, to leave the river a little bit better than they found it. And it wasn't just about picking up trash, it was about something much deeper. It was about connecting with nature, about appreciating the beauty and fragility of our environment, and about recognizing that we have a responsibility to protect it. It was a reminder that we're all interconnected, that our actions have consequences, and that by working together, we can create a more sustainable and beautiful world for generations to come. I want to end on a note of hope, a glimpse into a bright future for civic engagement. Remember that CNN segment about kids and politics? It made me optimistic. Kids today are growing up in a vastly different world. They're facing challenges like climate change and social injustice, but they're inheriting a legacy of progress and activism. These kids aren't afraid to ask tough questions and demand more. They're digital natives using social media to amplify their voices. And that, my friends, is incredibly powerful. Well, folks, there you have it. From the thrill of victory on the football field to the inspiring efforts of community volunteers, from the devastation of natural disasters to the hope ignited by engaged young citizens, we've covered a lot of ground today. But if there's one thing I want you to take away from this whirlwind tour of current events, it's this. Never underestimate the power of storytelling. Stories have the ability to connect us, to inspire us, to challenge us, and to remind us of our shared humanity. So keep seeking out stories, keep asking questions, and keep engaging with the world around you.
Because the more we understand each other, the more we connect with the issues that matter, the better equipped we'll be to create a brighter future for all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on important events and stories. Stay informed and